Do your job. This video is brought to you by True Honor. GoDaddy.com. Enter code HUB749 for a discount off a domain name. Hello, fight fans. I'm Marcos Vegas for FightUpTV.com here in Las Vegas. Post fight for Amir Khan versus Zab Judah. I'm being joined by Jamie Kavanaugh, one of the fighters who was on the undercard of this bout. And Jamie, for those people that didn't get a chance to see your bout, let us know a little bit about your opponent, Mark Herrera. You won by unanimous decision in the sixth round. So let us know how the fight went. Yeah, it went, went pretty well. Like it was six round decision. Uh, the guy came to fight. He was a good boxer, you know. He realized that at the start, I think maybe the second round, he couldn't box with me. And he started to kind of, kind of press the fight forward a little bit. And that. But I just kept on my boxing. I hurt him in the fourth round. And he was out, he was out on his feet. But it's tough Mexicans, you know. Like, they, they, they stick around. And he he, uh, he he caught another wind. And he, he, he survived, say, you know. How does something like that, when something like that happens in the fourth round where you hurt your opponent, but yet he still doesn't go down, you hit him with your best shot, what goes through your mind mentally when something like that happens? Like, it's, it could, it, for some fighters it could be, it, it can be, a, uh, well, for most fighters it's like, it's not a bad thing, but for some fighters it can be a really bad thing, it's it's disheartening, you know? Like, people are realize you hit him with a hard punch and he didn't go down, or, but I knew the guy was hurt. Like, so he was hurt, it wasn't that I didn't hurt him, but I couldn't, like, I didn't get around to finishing him. But that's, like, stuff that we'll take back to the gym I'm mean, gonna work on, like, maybe I overcrowded my work a little bit where I should have took more patience and time and set the shot up rather than just going straight in. So, like, in a, in a good way I can take that from me, you know. Speaking of, of your performance, I know it's still early to really assess uh, how you perform tonight, but looking at what you've seen so far, what do you think you did wrong in this bout and what do you want to take back into the gym to go ahead and improve on the future? Yeah, obviously I have my things that I want to try and improve. My coach also has a lot of things that he wants to improve. He also has a lot more than me. but. Uh, just, just like the con like exper experience, you, you can't train for, you can't buy, you can only actually do it. You know, you go out there, you you put a, you put a show on, you 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 work on things that you've done in the gym. Uh, maybe slowing slowing the pace down a little bit more, and as I said, like pick picking the shots a little bit more. Continue on forward in, in your career. You know what type of opponents you ha want to have uh, from this point forward, and uh, where do you want to go? How active do you want to be this year? Yeah, this year, you know, I've got to go home to to my country, Ireland. In August, I've got to sort out my visa and stuff. And uh, my visa is okay, it's my passport, it's actually run out. So uh, I'll be home taking a break, a little bit of a break, I'll still be training. And I'll be back hopefully in, all, in September. And I'm going to be fighting in October, I want to be on October. Two more times this year, October, November, maybe, maybe December, I don't know, we'll see how it goes. See what Golden Boy have in store for me. What did you make of the main card? Uh, Amir Khan, of course, defeated Zab Judah uh, via KO uh, in a body shot that at first looked like it might have been a low, bow, low blow, but uh, replays show that you know, it was clearly on the belt. What did you make of the fight? Yeah, I thought the, I thought the fight was very very good. I thought it was, it was a very good fight, but it, I thought maybe Zab was going to bring a little bit more than he did. He looked like he didn't want to be in there. He was complaining about headbutts when there was no headbutts. Uh, the body shot that Amir landed was well at the start when, when because he's really fast. Like it looked like a low blow. Well, it, it looked and it didn't look. It looked like it was on the belt. It could have been called a low blow or it could have been a, a body shot. But when they slowed the camera down on HBO, you could see it was a low blow. He's very good at body shots, Amir. You, you seen what he done to Marcus Madonna in the first round. How that guy continued, I don't know. Zab, I think, took the shot. He probably feel the body shot, but he didn't want. He didn't want any. He didn't want a piece of it, you know. Certainly was a really. I don't want to say weird, but it was an odd thing to see that Judah really had no offense uh, in this fight. Yeah, like. I don't know. They were at the press conference now. Maybe he's gonna say that he was trying to bring it in to the later rounds, like Paul McCluskey said. You know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe the guy had a plan. I'm not sure, but it, the plan didn't seem to be working. You know, and if he gave up the way he gave up, that's not good for boxing.
certainly it was a anticlimactic ending to a, a fight that had a lot of hype on it. Uh, Jamie, once again, thank you very much for the time. We appreciate the interview. Thank you. Thanks for having me. For FightUpTV.com, this is Marcos Villegas in Las Vegas, Nevada. Thanks for watching.